Okay, I'm doing a video here on Blender 2.8 uh, for Neverwinter Nights. Um, as you see, I'm using Linux. Sorry, I love Linux, so I promote it as much as possible. But that being said, um, here's our list. We've got uh, Blender 2.8 for Neverwinter Nights, like I was saying. Uh, the link for it's here to get pick up Blender. Here's a link to... Uh, for Never Blender, which is an add-on that you'll need for it. Um, here is the uh, Magic UV uh, add-on, which I really like to do uh, to use when uh, texturing uh, for tiles. And here is a link for uh, Blender 2.8. Well, it's actually 2.7, uh, 9, I believe it is, uh, shortcuts. So it's just not quite up to date. Uh, to where we are with 2.8 but I'm sure they'll be coming out with a newer one um, as for a couple other things you might need for hacks you get NWN X or NW Hackament that comes with NWN or with your Neverwinter Nights it's in your uti uh, utilities folder um, and then I would download NW Explorer which you can get right here and that allow you to view content uh, that's inside of a hack. But let's start off with uh, the Blender. So uh, here's your Blender web website. You can download uh, 2.8. Uh, it says beta now because it's just not fully launched, but is more than uh, usable. Uh, I've been using it now for about five months and absolutely love it. So you can get pick that up there. Never Blender, you can get off of NW Vault. It's Never Never Blender 2.8. Uh, right here, you can click to download it. There's older versions if you're using older versions of uh, Blender. Then the Magic UV. Uh, you can watch some of these videos on it. It explains what it is a little bit. But if you go to the GitHub, then you can get the latest version of it download it and then this is the uh, the mapping key mapping I was talking about it has if you see right up in here it's for 2.79 and uh, we're at 2.8 so it's just a little outdated a few things have changed but a lot of it is the same or similar so uh, except for like your select it shows your uh, right click is select and then it's actually left click now a uh, few things like that that's changed, but and then NWN Explorer um, you can pick up here and download it and uh, utilize it. So once you've uh, got those downloaded, then you can take and bring up, say, I've got uh, my add-ons folder for Blender. Uh, you just find your way through it. It's under mine is under scripts, uh, then add-ons, and you put your add-on in here. Uh, so that way, it's the two add-ons I had you get was uh, the Magic UV and the Never Blender 2.8. Um, other than that, then you should be able to open up Blender 2.8, and then to do to get your add-ons up and going I believe it was preferences thanks yeah right here so add-ons then you just go down you find them uh, see never blender right there make sure you click it and there's magic UI in there as well somewhere right there magic UV I'm it you click it save your preferences and then you're at your scene um, other than that what I also like to do is I created a blender folder so here on my and within my profile I created a blender folder and I made stuff like uh, I'm working on caravan tiles models so I've got that for that I've got um, tile sets and I got it broken down in the desert and mountain forest at the moment so I can kind of separate these a little bit more creatures and then I've got Macalots and crew do so you know try to break those down textures you know I got a pack full of my textures just try to keep it a little more organized so I know where to find stuff know where everything's at um, 
other than that then I have save scenes which you'll be able to save your work and without having to export it but these other ones are exported models is what it is so uh, like if we go to mech a lot there should be there's an MDL file and that's you need that never blender to be able to export as an MDL so let's see here uh, export see the MDL the Roy MDL is an option now to export where if you don't have never blender it's not so uh, that will get you to there now the other thing I wanted to show you was uh, let's go to my folder or wait no it'd be well it's in in your utilities folder like I said telling you you have um, uh, NW NW hack which is this here that just opened up now you can open up files you can find files so say if I go to a hack folder I can open it up and I can view the different files now that's in that hack you know 2DA files is in this one if I opened up a different one let's say uh, this one here it'll have as soon as it opens it all up TGA files MDL files and it just lets you see the files and then I can then take and I can uh, export remove it if I want to add files to this hack I can go find them and add to it but this allows you to add and remove files from hacks uh, from never night's hacks and the other one that I want to show was this one here was Internet Explorer or NWN Explorer and what this allow you to do is if I open up a hack uh, go to my hacks again I can view so say now it gives me a breakdown with this and it has like game data you know for 2DAs and it'll show me the 2DA lines or if I go to say my dot set file it'll show me all my dot set file lines of code okay but if I go to models and I click on it now it shows me a 3d view and if I do a I believe it's a right click yeah hold down my right click button I can move around and my left click lets me drag it up and down and you can look at these models so if you're wanting to see what's in your hack and pull something out that you want out you just go through here and you know you can check it out and see what uh, see what's in a hack and see what you might need to pull out or want so that's what's nice and then if you say oh yeah I needed this one you can right click and export okay um, same thing say if you have DDS files you can right click on a DDS which is a uh, supposed to be like a higher quality condensed uh, texture basically you can right click on it and export it as a TGA where this is a TGA so you're just going to export it as a TGA or just export it so um, you, it gives you those options or features as well but anyhow those are the things that you're looking at the reason why I want the NWN Explorer would be so I then can go out and find a hack that's on say um, Neverwinter Nights or uh, Vault website so if I was to um, go to say Neverwinter Night Vault dot org and I wanted to look up say a forest just using it as an example and uh, I don't know I don't know what any of these are okay so here's a forest tile set it's it's a hack so if I downloaded it I would get a hack file and then I can then open up that hack file utilizing uh, say this uh, NWN Explorer and then I can look through it and then take out what I want you know for example or if I was creating a hack from scratch I want to create my own and then I would use um, this one here which is the NWN hack which then I could just grab resources say textures and models or whatever and drag them into here and then save it as a hack uh, that way so that's how you can work with hacks in order to get um, models into 
in order to import them into Blender. So, and then I don't know if I really covered it. So I did the exporting, but see, importing, same thing, import MDL. So if I got an MDL that I want to import, like I said, I keep everything in a Blender folder. So let's go Caravan. There's the Caravan MDL. So if I load import it in, bam, there's my model. You know, so that is uh, that is how you your introduction basically to using uh, Blender 2.8 for Neverwinter Nights. And the next video, I'll go into a little bit more depth on using certain tools, but uh, that'll get you started. See you at the next video.